Welcome to Prism Science Academy classes and we are yet again once again to solve one of the numericals for class 11 force and loss of motion. Let's try to understand the question first and it's given that a rubber ball of mass 50 gram. So mass is 50 gram that is equal to 0 0.05 kg when divided by 1000. It falls from a height of one meter. So when it falls from, let's say this is the height of one meter and it rebounds and it goes back to a height of 0.5 meter. Now these are the two cases coming down and going up rebounding. So we have to find the impulse. So to find the impulse, now the impulse happened when the ball was rebound back by let's say the fruit so in this case we will have to calculate so the rebound happened here so that means we have to find the initial velocity with which the body was coming and the velocity with which the body went up once again here in these two cases so let's consider the first case when the ball was falling through a height of one meter so let's consider when body was falling to a height of one meter okay now in this case this is the first case in this case the initial velocity was zero so the initial velocity was zero and it came down through a distance of one meter now before it touched the ground we have to find the velocity so in this case this is the final velocity and acceleration here would be the acceleration due to gravity because the bound is ball is coming down so that should be positive now we are going to use the equation of the motion v square minus u square is equal to 2 into a which is t into s now we have to calculate the v so uh, u is 0 and 2 into 9.8 into distance is 1 meter. So that gives me v square is equal to 2 into 19.9.8 is 19.6. And if we calculate the square root of 19.6, that should give me the value. So 19.6 square root should be 4.427. So this is 4.427 and I can take it as 4.43 round off to two decimal places in Newton second or kg meter per second. That is, sorry, it's the meter per second, the velocity. So the final velocity when it came down was, this was 4.43 meter per second. Okay, now when the body went back, up again so when ball so this is the rubber ball when ball was rebounding so when ball was rebound we have to find the initial velocity with which it, it went up so we don't know u but yes we don't know that when it reached the maximum height the final velocity was zero so here in this case the final velocity was zero because it's going up so the acceleration is negative 9.8 meter per second square and the distance covered was half of meter 0.5 meter we are once again going to use v square minus u square is equal to 2 into g into s here we know the value of uv so this initial velocity we have to calculate with it it, it went up so negative 9.8 into 0.5 so this is negative u square 2 into 0 0.5 is 1. So 1 into negative 9.8 is negative 9.8. So this is u is under root of 9.8. So let's calculate the value of under root 9.8. So 9.8 under root will give us 3.13. So this is 3.13 meter per second. Now we have got so that means when the body came down and when the body went up 
So when it came down, its initial velocity was 4.43 meter per second, and it went up, it went up with the final velocity of 3.13. So this is 3.13. So now we have the V and the final and the initial velocity for the ball because the impulse happened here. And we have to calculate the impulse and we know that impulse is the product of force into time short interval and the force is given by mass into acceleration. Acceleration is V minus U by T. T and T gets cancelled. Mass is 0 0.05. Okay, in this case, the final velocity with which it went up was is 3.13. We are going to take it as negative because it's the direction where the direction is changed and u minus this is u is 4.43 okay so this should be the impulse which should be in kg meter per second or newton second okay now it's 0 0.05 into negative 3.13336 4 plus 1 is 5 and it's 7.56 you have to multiply it with 5 take it 3 plus 3 is 6 4 plus 1 is 5 and okay now we are going to multiply 0 0.05 with 7.56 so this 0 0.05 into 7.56 that gives me 0.378 so this is 0.378 newton second is the impulse okay and it's also asked that we have to find the average impulse we are done with the impulse we have to find the average force for time of contact 0.1 second the force is equal to mass into v minus u by t we have already calculated the v minus m into v minus u by t that is 0 0.378 the time is 0 0.1 and now it should be 3.78 newton should be the average force okay with this we are done with this one do like share and subscribe thank you for watching